Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A grieving mother has opened up about the sudden death of her youngest child in the hope that no other parent goes through the same nightmare. June 20th started like any other for Chance Piniongo, 13, as he headed off to school in Echuca, in northern Victoria. His mother Regina Rose picked up from school several hours later after he began complaining about headaches. He later had dinner and watched a movie before falling asleep on the couch. Early the next morning, Chance started experiencing seizures and was rushed to the local hospital, where he was diagnosed with influenza A. The year 7 student's condition rapidly deteriorated and within hours before he was airlifted to the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne in a coma. That night, his family were told that Chance had contracted acute necrotizing encephalitis, a rare brain disease that occurs following a viral infection, and that the scans showed no brain activity. Chance never regained consciousness and died six days later surrounded by loved ones. Almost two months on, Ms. Rose is struggling with the loss of Chance. It's still sinking in, it still hasn't, she told Seven News. To see a flu or something so rare knock him down as fast as it did, it's still a shock. She has opened up about Chance's ordeal to raise awareness about the rare condition and the hope that research will save more lives. I could tell immediately something was wrong, Ms. Rose recalled. There was a big difference from looking at him that morning to looking at him at lunchtime. I didn't know much about influenza A, eh? but it didn't explain the seizures. I didn't understand it. The youngest of five children, Chance had recently become an uncle and adored his nephews. He loved kids and babies, his mother recalled. He got along with everyone. A fundraiser set up to help with ambulance and funeral costs to ease the financial burden on Chance's family described the teen as an angel who lit up every room he walked into. He had a huge heart and would always sense when others were sad and go out of his way to cheer them up. It didn't matter if you were young or old, if he sensed you were down, he was going to try his best to make you smile. Super popular at school he would entertain all of his classmates and teachers said that whenever he won awards the other kids would cheer him on as he did a dab, and then every kid wanted to give him a high five as he walked past. He would look out for the random kid at camp and start a conversation and decide, we are going to be friends today. He never liked anyone to be left out.